Vanilla Minecraft commands nowadays are very, very powerful. Especially over these last couple years, Mojang has done an active effort to make vanilla commands more powerful than they were before. And nowadays, so much is possible with just vanilla commands. The problem is the majority of people don't use these commands for one of two reasons. Or they don't know about the commands or they don't know how to use them because they think they're complicated. And that second group of people, those I'm gonna help out today because I want to take a look at a website that can help you generate Minecraft commands. So the website is called Gamer Geeks. It was recommended to me by a viewer of this channel and it is a website that can generate Minecraft commands for you. And it is so easy to use. Right off the bat, I want to say, I'm totally aware there are many more websites like these out there. This is one of many. And if there is another website that you prefer using, that is totally fine. I found that this one is one of the easiest ones to use though, which is why I'm covering it here today. But here you can already see what type of stuff this website is capable of. So here we have a bunch of gift commands generators which can help you generate specific items or armor or fireworks then here we have the summon mob command and this is already one that a lot of players struggle with like how do i spawn in a certain mob and maybe a normal mob is pretty doable but let's say you want the mob to have a specific name and wear a specific type of armor then it gets quite complicated but this website can easily generate a command that does that for you then we also have a banner tool generator over here which is really Cool. So if you want to generate a specific flag or a specific pattern, it can easily do that for you. As you can see, there is so much more here. We can summon entities. We can use commands for effects, for killing, for particles. Literally, whatever you want, this website can generate. Over here, we also have tools for skins. When we scroll down a little, we even have things like crop farm calculators and block pixel art tools. So if you want to generate a pixel art in game, you can even do that. Now, of course, I can't show every single tool on this website. I strongly encourage you to just go here and test the tools you are interested in out yourself. But let's test a couple. So first, I'm going to do Summon Mob because I definitely think this is one of the most useful ones. So what we can do over here is first choose a game version. Now, this is already really, really nice because Mojang changes up their Minecraft commands from time to time. So if you want to spawn in a certain mob in Minecraft 1.14, for example, it is most likely going to be a different command than in 1.21.4. So simply select the version you want to generate the mobs in. In my case, I'm going to do 1.21.2. Then we can choose if we want to just summon in the mob, if we want to create a spawn egg that spawns in the mob, if we want to create a spawner that spawns in the mob. And then there's even an import option, which the website itself doesn't recommend you using. And then we have some other settings. So let's go for it. Let's create a spawn egg. Which mob should we go for? Every single mob that's available in 1.21.2 will be in this list. You can even spawn in projectiles if you want. So a dragon fireball or an ender pearl, an eye of ender, we can even spawn in those. These are not the items sitting in your inventory. These are the active projectiles. So this is an ender pearl when it's flying through the air after you've thrown it. But I can definitely see how this could be cool in, for example, a Minecraft map you're creating. But let's in this case go for wolf. I think wolf is cute. Now, when we then select wolf, you can immediately see a whole bunch of stuff changes here. So because I'm creating a command for Minecraft version 1.21.2, I can also choose a variation because they were added in 1.20.5. So let's say I want a spotted variation. Now what is really cool about this website is that we immediately get a suggestion to maybe use the wolf visual pattern selector. You might be like, what's that? Well, when we click on here, it will open a link to a specific wolf generator where we can actually click on the mob that we want. So you can totally go for this. I'm just going to stick to the summon mob generator though just for the purpose of this video but we can also choose a color so let's go for pink when we check this box we can make it wear armor which is pretty cool and every single time we change something you will see that being reflected in the command down here so when i unselect armor stuff will disappear when i select armor again stuff will appear again here it will say that the color is six but when we change it to for example purple it will change to 10. So everything will be reflected to this text box. And we can make it permanently angry or sitting, if that is something that we want. You might be like, nice, this is it. But no, there is so much more. So we can go to properties and change even more properties about this wolf. For example, how much health it has or a custom name. Cute, 
Doggo. <laughs> then the health we can set to 500, so it will never die. You can make it so that it can pick up loot. And if you want to know what a specific thing does, you can click on the little eye icon next to the option. So for example, this one, if true, it will cause the entity to glide as long as they are wearing an elytra. An option that I think most people will find very, very useful is no AI. So if true, the mob's AI will be disabled. The mob will not attempt to move and cannot move to the extent of not falling when normally able. So it will literally be stuck there. It'll just be sitting there and it will not move. If you're making Minecraft maps or if you're doing certain things in, for example, a spawn of a Minecraft server, this could be really useful. So let's do that. <laughs> or no gravity, for example. If true, the entity will not fall if in the air. There is so much stuff possible. And we can also set rotation and tilt and motion. So basically, you can set exactly how this wolf is standing and where it is looking at. You can make it have effects if that is something that you want. You can add group tags so you can give it an age. You can even set it to laugh mode. <laughs> Which means when you tick this box, it will be actively looking for a mate right upon spawning. Won't work here though, because our buddy is stuck in time. And you can even assign a mob to a player. So by entering a UUID of a player here, they will become your pet. So if you ever wanted a wolf buddy that cannot die, because they for example have infinite health, you can do that. Now you can let it wear armor and stuff in their main and offhand. And what I also really love about this website is that when I for example choose something here, let's say an oak log then it will start giving you a warning that this command must now be run via a command block because it is too long for chat. So it doesn't fit in your chat box anymore. That is the type of proactive website behavior I can get behind. I love that. Let's not add a lock to our wolf though. I think this command is perfect. So I'm simply gonna click on copy command. And then we're gonna go to Minecraft again and simply paste to command in game. Press enter and there is Q Doggo. <laughs> it's standing here. It's not moving. What is the bee doing over there? Are you okay, buddy? Did you have a rough day at work? It seems like it for sure. Anyhow, <laughs> here we got cute doggo. Like you can see, it's wearing armor. It has the variation that we set. It has a name and it cannot even move. Oh yeah, and it has a whole bunch of health. <laughs> that as well. But it is awesome. And it was so easily done. But if we wouldn't have the generator, then we would have needed to type this entire command. Just look at it. There's a lot going on here. Look at how complicated it is. I mean, yeah, everything here does make sense. If you know how to write Minecraft commands, you will get this. But if you're in the majority, aka the casual Minecraft player, you won't know all this. So a website that can just generate a command for you is really, really useful. Now let's have a quick look at the banner tools. Because I think this is really, really cool. So first you may decide what you want to create. Do you want to create letters? Do you want to create numbers? Do you want arrows, for example? Or maybe a country flag? Do you want to create certain cute banners? Or do you want to create chest pieces? <laughs> it's all possible. You can all do it. It is so cool. But if you just want to see all the options and create one, we can click on this button up here under Banner Maker. And bam, we will get to this menu. And here we can completely change what the banner will look like. So when we click on this text, we will have the option to choose between all of these different patterns, which is so super cool. I kind of like this one. I didn't even know this one existed. So let's give it a yellow color, for example. And then I'm going to make the background black. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Copy command, execute it in game. Bam. There it is. Banner. Oh, banner. <laughs> And yes, this command is not that hard. It is pretty doable, but you still don't really know what it will look like. So it is very nice to just get a visual representation of what the banner you're about to make will actually look like, which is awesome. But also for things like, for example, effects, we have commands. So if you want to create a certain effect, you can just select what effect, the seconds, the amplifier, if you want particles hidden or not, and what players you want to apply them to. And bam, done. You can also generate a set block command aka spawning in a block at a certain position and the gif command generator is of course also very very powerful most people know how to give something basic in minecraft but with this generator you can make something really really complicated like for example an item that has a whole bunch of enchantments it should normally not have like when i said looting to three i will now get a cobblestone with looting three <laughs> Can always eat. <laughs> That's worth a try. Press on enter and there it is. <laughs> Our cobblestone with looting three. And it's edible. 
And so yeah, if you want to generate a cobblestone that when you eat it will give you a massive speed boost in game, you can do that. Simply click on the add consume effect button and bam. Now we can add an effect like for example speed. We can give speed 10, which I don't even know if that's possible, but let's have a go at it. And I want it for 100 seconds. No particles. I do want the icon. So you can add multiple consume effects and the higher the probability, the higher the chance you will get that effect. But it's not guaranteed. That's cool. That's really cool. I am somewhat scared, but let's have a go at it. Okay, it works. <laughs> Speed 10 works. So yeah, I think you can see this is quite a powerful website. And you would be surprised at how much is possible nowadays with vanilla Minecraft commands. So I would highly recommend checking Gamer Geeks out. Link can be found in the description down below. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. Join my Discord. Thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later. Bye bye.